My next guest this morning is local author Rodney Ross. Now, he has been real busy receiving awards for his book entitled The Cool Part of His Pillow. Since its release in 2012, it has gained so much attention. It was recently awarded first prize in the GLPT fiction category for the Next Generation Indie Book Awards. Rodney is also one of the featured award-winning authors of The Other Man. Now, he has details on both novels for us this morning. Rodney, it is a pleasure having you here. Good morning, Thank Jenna. You. <laughs> Thank you for having me again. Well, I am happy. I love it when you come to the studio, and it's been a while since mm -hmm. you were here. Yeah. The last time you were here, Rodney, we were talking about the cool part of his pillow, and you had just released yes. it. Indeed, it had, it had literally just come off the presses and hit my hands, so it was a it was a big deal. It was the mm -hmm. you, I mean, you were the first media thing mm -hmm. I had done, mm -hmm. um, and so that was very exciting to sort of go into that world a little mm -hmm. bit and talking about myself is. <laughs> Although my friends would tell you otherwise, it's sort of alien to me to promote myself in that way. So. Oh, well, you know, you were a little apprehensive because this was your first book that you've released. Oh, yeah. And Rodney, you've received so much attention I for know. it. It's awesome. It is. It's, Congrats. It's, it's been very exciting. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. And the award that you just won. Yes. Um, it was first place in the fiction category of the... GBLT. Yes, I mean the acronyms are, are said differently. Mm -hmm. um, it literally stands for gay, lesbian, uh, bisexual, transgender, GLBT, LGBT um, category of mm -hmm. the Next Generation Indie Book Awards. Um, they are uh, being handed out next uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, May 29th mm -hmm. in New York City. Um, I won't be attending, but mm -hmm. my heart will be there, mm -hmm. and I'll be waiting at the mailbox awaiting my certificates <laughs> and medal and everything like that. So it's a great boost mostly for the novel, as you mm -hmm. said, it because it came out a year ago. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to refresh people who have not read The Cool Part of His Pillow or, oh, do I want to read something like that or not? And then, mm -hmm. of course, my inclusion in the new anthology, The Other Man, also helps cross-promote the cool part of his pillow because the author bio and back certainly directs them to the cool sure. part of his pillow so yeah well I definitely recommend picking up your copy of the cool part of his pillow and now Rodney for people who haven't read it yet mm -hmm. could you give us a little brief summary this morning sure um, it is about um, a gentleman named Barry um, he is 45 years old um, long time partnered with Andy um, and on his 45th birthday actually his partner is killed. And this is no spoiler, it happens in the first 30, 30 40 pages. Uh, his partner is killed in a horrendous accident along with their two pug dogs uh, at a construction crane site accident. Um, and for the next year it propels him into a world of, of grief, um, family and friends and their own agendas, uh, a journey to reinvent himself at an age for all of us, not just, you know, gay, straight, what what comes next at 45? Who will want me? Am I damaged goods? I don't want somebody else's damage. Um, so it's really his journey. One chapter takes place in Key West as he continues to find his way around this brave new world of widowerhood. Well, it is a page turner. And Thank you. You can, you Thank can you. relate to the character and everything. And, Thank you. And the reviews for The Cool Part of His Pillow are excellent. Now, Rodney, let's get into The Other Man. You are one of the featured authors in this book. Indeed, there are 21 of us in there, and um, it is about really um, the, uh, the overall editor, Paul, uh, collected us together um, to talk about different aspects of adultery, uh, menage a trois kind of <laughs> things, uh, when there's a third party involved. And once again, this is very gay male specific, but once you start reading the essays, of course it correlates to all of us who have felt wronged, cheated on, been the cheater, mm -hmm. witnessed the cheating and kept silent because you don't want to upset another couple. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very interesting to be part of a, as I said to you before uh, we uh, began taping, to be part of this mosaic and yet I don't know the other people involved at all. They're all over the country, if not the world, actually contributing. So when I saw the actual finished product, that was the first time I actually experienced the other man mm -hmm. through the other 20 eyes, the 40, 40 eyes, rather, right. of the 20 <laughs> authors that I, that I wrote with. Now, here. are your writing styles similar, all the authors? Oh, no, very. So oh, it's, and that, that's always very exciting, too, mm -hmm. that because you, you tend to, you know, you have your own voice, and I do have a distinct voice in the way I write. 
I tend to sort of leaven what I write with uh, with humor and and um, uh, comedy and things like that, just because I think too much wah 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 gets a little old after mm -hmm. a while. Um, so it's really exciting to go in there and read people's first person accounts, uh, narratives. Uh, almost fictional treatments of all of their different experiences um, dealing with infidelity and things like that, monogamy. I mean, it's, 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 it's an amazing collection. Some of them are just absolutely riveting. So mm -hmm. I enjoyed reading it just as a first time reader mm -hmm. because I hadn't read the other mm -hmm. works. So oh, Great, well I'm sure your chapter is one of the best, Rodney. I hope so. <laughs> now, okay, this was your first book. Now you've done The Other Man. Yes. Rodney, your writing's taking off. Are you gonna continue with it? Oh gosh, yes, absolutely. I mean, I think you're, you're, you're born a writer. You're born a pianist, a musician, an artist. I mean, you really are. You've got to refine it. You've got to practice it. You've got to get it out in the world, obviously. Um, but yes, I'm working on a new novel. Um, I tend not to talk really about, uh, go into detail about what I'm working on when I'm working on it, but it is very, very different than anything I've really tried before. It has a, a lot more sprawl on a national slash international scale mm -hmm. and really follows three characters who then, once they link up and meet others, turn into 12, 16 characters. Uh, that I follow on um, different paths from 1970 to 2013. Oh, wow. So it's, it's a challenge and exciting and it lets mm -hmm. me sort of inhabit a different world. Now Rodney, is it hard for you when you sit down at your desk and you have to start writing, is it hard to stay disciplined for you or is it easy? Um, no, once I, do, <laughs> once I do sit down and resist the, the, resist the temptations of Key West, i.e. Right. <laughs> martinis, sunset, friends, <laughs> hanging out. Um, no, I'm, I'm pretty focused. Um, mm -hmm. I have a goal. I usually try to t turn out 10 good pages a week. Mm -hmm. So if you look at a, a year's time, that's 520 pages mm -hmm. that I've turned out. Um, so from that perspective, I am disciplined because I know what my end game is by mm -hmm. Sunday evening, I better have that 10 pages turned out. Mm -hmm. Now if I've turned out 12, I sort of look at the week ahead and it's like, I only have to do eight. <laughs> so, you know, you sort of budget yourself that way, but they need to be 10 good pages. Otherwise it's not writing, it's typing. All right, and once you get those 10 pages, you can reward yourself, Rodney. I indeed, <laughs> I can, yes, and you've probably witnessed me rewarding myself around town, Jenna. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> now, if people want their copy of these books, are they online, Amazon? Absolutely, or? cool okay. part of his pillow, Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble. It's mm -hmm. available in various e-reader formats, Kindle, Nook. Mm -hmm. uh, the Other Man is just now hitting Amazon and Barnes and Noble and all of the e-tailers, as well as uh, the publisher's website, JMS Books. Mm -hmm. You can go there and either download it or buy the print version of it. Mm -hmm. um, but it will probably be broadly available, I would say, by Memorial Day-ish next week. Great. Really. Well, everybody, get your copy while it's hot off the press. Right, Absolutely. <laughs> Sizzling. <laughs> Sizzling. Yes. Rodney, thank you so much for thank being Thank you on so this much, morning. Jen. I enjoyed it. It's been fun. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in today and joining me. I hope that you'll be able to join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. It'll be okay